Hello everyone, thank you for joining me once again at NLBP TV. Today we are doing a member spotlight with Mary Ellen Zung out of Booton, New Jersey. She is a health and wellness coach. Hi Mary Ellen, thank you for joining Hi. me today. Thank you so much for having me, I'm happy to be here. Glad you're here. So tell us a little bit about um, your journey becoming a health and wellness coach. Sure. Um, I guess it started back in, you know, when I was a teenager. Um, I always felt like I was a bit overweight and I just felt like for the next 20 years, I was looking for the right way to eat, what to mm -hmm. eat for weight loss. Um, and then I went to Weight Watchers and started working for them. I worked for them for 15 years. Wow. And I was a leader coach. And um, I, you know, worked that program and taught that program, but then learned a lot about nutrition. Um, and then, you know, felt like there's something more than just what you're eating. So I noticed working with Weight Watchers, I noticed that people had um, stuff, you know, they had reasons for eating the way they did. They had reasons for overeating. Um, they, they needed to sort of work on themselves. Okay. And then once they worked on themselves, the weight sort of just fell off. So it wasn't about the food. <laughs> and about six years ago, I went to um, the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and um, learned about coaching. And um, so then I became a, a certified holistic health coach. Nice. Yeah. So tell me, what is the difference between a health coach and a nutritionist? Because you're so much more than... Yes, yes. Nutritionist, um, actually the term nutritionist, um, there's no like legal um, uh, qualification for it. It's okay. usually just registered dietitian. All right. um, but some people call themselves nutritionists. They might be a registered dietitian and nutritionist. Um, but generally a registered dietitian or nutritionist is focused on like the food and the macronutrients of the food okay. and balancing, you know, working on a specific goal that someone has for their nutrition. Maybe they're sick. Maybe they have some kind of disease. Maybe they have to bring down their blood pressure. So a nutritionist will work on a diet for a specific issue and maybe it's weight loss too. Um, and a health coach, uh, a lot of people come to me because of food, but then we, it's really about your lifestyle and the way you're living. So your relationships, um, you know, your, your thoughts, you know, managing your thoughts, um, how you feel about yourself and the way you're living. Are you living your purpose? Um, how much do you move, you know, and we, of course, we do talk about food too, but um, so a coach really is someone that just helps you sort of manage your lifestyle, your healthy lifestyle, and tweak things that can help you be healthier and happier and live a, a better life. So it sounds like a coach of mind, body, and spirit. So if you're talking to people about their belief systems or you know, things that happen to them. It's a little bit of therapy as well as the food and how about taking a walk? So it's like all aspects of the like a coach of mind, body, and spirit. I'm going to use that. <laughs> 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 um, yes, I think you're absolutely right. Um, and because they're uh, interconnected. I mean, it's so yeah. like, I love what you were just saying about, um, you know, finding your purpose. If you don't feel that you're, um, living your purpose or you feel stuck in your life, there's a good chance that you're eating to compensate. And that's not just food. There's a lot of addictive yeah. Yeah. habits that people get into it. You know, it could be yeah. shit, food, could be sex, could be drugs, could be alcohol, could be. And you know, I mean, we all know people that are totally stressed out. They're working, you know, full time, trying to manage family relationships, maybe elder care, you know, their parents yeah. as well. <laughs> 
um, and they put themselves last. And, you know, I can really relate to that because that was sort of my story too, that I was helping everybody else and making sure everybody else was okay and I was last. So I sort of healed myself that way too. So um, when you talk about what's my journey, that was just another little piece of it. Yeah. yeah. So is it a little bit about talk therapy as much as? Um, yeah, so you mentioned it's a little like therapy. Um, I wouldn't say that it's really like therapy. Um, I think I I'm not a therapist. I mean, I do have a bachelor's degree in psychology and I've learned coaching techniques and I've studied a lot about um, your thoughts and how to change your thoughts and how to think about yourself. Yep. But if someone needs a therapist, I'm going to refer them to a therapist. Um, yeah. Good to say. Good you know, qualifier there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I feel like a coach asks the right questions. Okay. A coach gives the client enough space to learn. Mm -hmm. um, so I educate um, I give them space. I ask the right questions. I observe. Um, so, you know, one of my favorite questions is, you know, I notice that, and then they might not even know that they're doing something. You know, I notice that, blah, 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 and it just brings up a whole next step. Like, okay, now we can move forward. Um, so, Love that. yeah, so coaching rather than therapy. Yeah. yeah. And are people meeting with you once a week? Is it online? How are you working with clients? Yeah, it's both. If they're local, I can meet uh, in person. We generally meet every two weeks. Okay. Um, I find that, you know, when we meet, we talk about some action steps at the end of our meeting. And so I want to give them a chance to try those action steps. Right. You know, because people are so busy, you give them one thing to do and it's a big mountain to climb, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna take this next little step? And they have to figure out how to work it into their lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. Because you wanna be practicing these things that are gonna help you in your life. Absolutely. So um, I give them two weeks. And I do work with um, folks online. I have right. people in California and, um, in Maine and you know so I can do that just like we're on zoom we can yeah. do that with coaching yeah okay excellent and do you do group that I must stop saying therapy group coaching or individual only I do both individual one-on-one okay. -on -one, and I also do group coaching um I do talk so the groups are talks in the community um on and, and at um, like adult um, community ed uh, places. Okay. And also um, I do two um, like detox cleanses uh, a year, one in the spring, one in the fall based on traditional Chinese medicine and eating with the seasons. Oh, so wow. those are group, but they're online. I love that. <laughs> that person. Okay. Um, and then the other group coaching I do is I teach a um, uh, pre-diabetes, uh, pr diabetes prevention program um, with uh, my local YMCA. So that's a 26 week program for people with pre-diabetes to help them, um, you know, get uh, more exercise, lose weight and prevent diabetes. So those are some groups. Yeah. That's excellent. And I'm thinking if, there's people watching this that might be interested in an online diabetes group. Is that something you're able to do? Um, let's see. Why not? We yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a pretty Why good not? group. <laughs> yeah. Um, because there are 86 million people in yeah. the country with prediabetes and only 10% of, of those people know they have prediabetes. Wow. So um, it's a big deal and it's so satisfying to teach this class because you can see just by lifestyle change, people are preventing type two diabetes and um, they're getting well and they're reversing, you know, what could, what could have happened to them, you know, 
getting type two diabetes. Um, I even have one uh, guy in the class who um, has reversed his type two. And I have heard from doctors that you can't reverse type two, but you can. <laughs> so uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about the eating by the season. That yeah. idea too. I love that. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, there's a, on September 10th, I'm doing a, a webinar um, on the benefits of eating seasonally. And, um, you know, for ourselves, for our families, and for the planet. But mm -hmm. um, if you study traditional Chinese medicine or Ayurveda, um, you know, we are, we are meant to eat seasonal foods, right? In the spring, you know, we have you know, the spring greens coming up, we want to lighten up after the winter. Um, it's warmer out. So the balance of, you know, bitter greens and um, lighter foods, you know, dandelions and <laughs> um, you see those dandelions coming up in your phone, right? That's what you should be eating in the spring. Because they're there. Um, <laughs> and then in the fall, you want to switch to like the heavier foods, like the squashes. And right. so it makes sense, right? That's what's being harvested. And that's just the, the natural balance for our bodies. Yeah. 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 It also helps with, um, you know, just the, the nutrition of the foods. Um, if you're eating locally grown foods in season, there's less transportation, there's less you know, gas and um, fertilizer and pesticides necessary. And um, so that's all good for us too. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, any specialized segments of the population you work with, like all women, all men, certain age groups? Age yeah, groups. It's generally um, women. Okay. Although I do have a few men, but uh, generally all women. Uh, you know, like me, who were stressed out, <laughs> worried about weight and what to eat and putting themselves first. So that's, you know, that's who you attract, right? As a coach, you attract. You attract who you are. I like you, yeah. That is so true. <laughs> yeah. And uh, generally women from 30 to 70, 75, something okay. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Um, anything else um, I forgot to ask you that you want people to know? Uh, I just, I have, um, that's, that's pretty much my story. Um, I love to help people. I mean, I got into this because I saw so much pain with women in this age group and, um, you know, every week with Weight Watchers, it wasn't just me. It was it was everybody, <laughs> um, just a lot of pain and unhappiness. And, um, I felt like I had the knowledge so, um, I can help, I can help people, you know, get control of their lives and, um, feel better. Yeah. So, and and I just love that you say, I'm sorry, go ahead. And prevent disease and yeah. live longer and happier. So yeah. why not? Yeah. I just love that you say it's so much more than your weight. Mm -hmm. you know, I've been part of Weight Watchers for a long time as well, but I've learned it's so much more than that. Like, it's, yeah, it's not just the scale. Just what you eat. How it's I think not, it's, what yeah. I, it's what yeah. I do. It's my activity. It's yeah. where I am in life. I'm stressed because the cortisol holds the weight on. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I do have a hormone protocol that I use for, I, I just did it twice last week with, um, you know, women don't understand the whole cortisol, you know, they're, they're yeah. working harder at the gym, you know, they're like working out so hard and their, their stress level is just body more. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and the thoughts, you know, the thoughts are just like always there. Like when you're in that, I got to lose weight, you know, mode, yeah. you're totally stressed even more. You yeah. Know? So, yeah. Um, trying to focus on other things and yeah. get balance. Balance is a big deal. Yeah. yeah you create what you defend against. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. You have all the good quotes, Camille. <laughs> <laughs> all that reading. <laughs> all right. How can people get in touch with you if they're watching this in replay and they're saying, wow, that's the coach I've been looking for. 
and they will. Oh, sure. Well, I do have a website. It's just my name, www.maryellenzung.com. Okay. Um, so you can check that out and see what my programs are like, read about me and um, testimonials. Um, I also, you can catch me at my email, um, coachmaryellen at outlook.com. And um, you can call me. Uh, 973-617-6742 is myself. And what else? I'm on Facebook, Health Coach Mary Ellen. You can like my page. Um, I'm on Instagram. <laughs> so lots of different ways to find me. Excellent. And if anyone's watching this after uh, we record it, which you all are because we're recording and no one's here, um, you can look in the show notes and we will have all the information uh, that you need. If you're seeing this on Facebook or any of our other platforms, YouTube, please subscribe to us and share this information with any friends and family you think could use it. I appreciate your time, Mary Ellen. Thank you so much, Camille. I really appreciate it. Thank you.